Hello and welcome to the new and improved Joe Ross series here on After Prison Show. I can barely keep a straight face trying to do this. We're about to go ahead and get right into this. Starting with opening up our supplies that have been sent to us by a wonderful supporter of After Prison Show, Miss Susan. Can you guys see that microphone just dangling in front of my face right there? Sort of looking like a little carrot. I've got mics everywhere in here, sort of like where the feds. We've got some new sketch pads right here. Let's go ahead and open these up. Trying to find a seam to be able to exploit. One thing that I've learned about ASMR from my two weeks of studying is that one thing you have to do is play with things and look at them like you've never seen that before. Joel is sitting down on the floor right now, losing his shit. Yes, I'm here. Ah, there we go. Nice and slowly, just opening the plastic that has imprisoned these sketch pads. We're gonna free the paper. That's what we're doing right now. Trying to free. Sort of sounds like spandex coming off. Have you ever worn spandex? I have, but only once. And while in prison. That was actually a nickname that was given to me during my first time ever locked up. used to call me Lil Spandex. There we go. Is this weird? I mean, just legitimately asking. It's weird, right? It's sort of like chatterbait. Do you got any bits? So now that we've gotten our sketch pad. Oh, that's nice. Sort of like nails on a chalkboard.
Let's go ahead and turn the page. Since I've last drawn anything, not gonna lie, my hands are a little sweaty, knees weak, mom's spaghetti. That would be interesting, trying to rap doing A.S. Before we find us a nice mugshot to begin with, we first need to sharpen our tools. Most importantly, our pencil. Well, that's not making any sound at all. Let's see if we can change that. I wonder if anybody ever watches after prison show in prison. They're probably thinking to themselves right now, if they are, what the hell happened to this guy? Gotta make sure that pencil is nice and sharp. Sure hope my wife doesn't come home and catch Joel and I whispering in the shed. That would probably be very weird. Well, that's not even sharp at all. We still have a long ways to go. I'm sure somebody's watching this, probably hoping that the pencil sharpening never stops. I think. I think that's gonna do it. Right there. There is one thing that I'd like to mention prior to even beginning drawing this. And that is the fact that I don't have an eraser. So folks, we better get it right. On the first try, I've been a little perplexed, confused maybe is a better word to use in relation to getting back to drawing the caricature mug shots and one reason for that is because I don't want to make fun of people too much. That's not a nice thing to do. I figure I'm just going to close my eyes and land on a random mugshot that we're going to try to capture like a fugitive here on the campus. Request not found. Let's see where we land. Oh boy, we're going to Oregon. Thaddeus 
McGregor. Got a little bit of a peanut shaped head going on here and again not to make too much fun we're not going to do that but definitely have to find some similar shapes to compare our subjects features to in an effort to easily capture them on the canvas Thaddeus is locked up for a criminal trespass second offense Still a misdemeanor. He's got a $1,000 bond, meaning that for a mere $100, Thaddeus could be released. I know there's gonna be someone who comments on this video and says, my God, it took Joe 15 minutes to get to drawing one mugshot. It's ASMR, for God's sakes. A few things that I notice immediately from Thaddeus's mugshot is the fact that he's smiling, possibly happy to be incarcerated, maybe drunk, maybe under the influence of other different narcotics. I also notice that one eye droops just a little more than the other. So we're gonna make sure we try to capture that as well. Let's go ahead and start with the shape of that head. There we go. And I feel like I've already missed the mark just a little bit, but we're gonna try to rein that on in. Let's go ahead and get that pupil going right there with a little bit of life showing right through that pupil. Beady little eyes. Let's go ahead and put the eyebrow on right there. Yes, let's go ahead and pull that head back just a little bit further back there. There we go. Well, hello, Thaddeus. Nice of you to join us. That was pretty nice, pretty nice. Couple of bags under the eyes right there. Not sure what's been going on in Thaddeus' personal life, but it's obviously led to his current state of incarceration. Wonder what you were trespassing for. Maybe visiting that girl who's got a restraining order. Joe, don't do it. We're not gonna make fun. We're only here to capture. On the canvas, that is. There we go. I'd like to take a moment and say that it's just interesting how this was starting out almost as a complete epic fail. But we're starting to get it back together right here. Sort of like riding a bicycle. Once you've done it once, you're ready to go out and steal one. You had no idea where I was going with that. Not sure which marker I'm gonna use. Whether it's gonna be this guy right here that from what I remember, wasn't a very good marker. This guy right here, which the Sharpie king size, sort of like a Snickers, is just a little too big. You ever have that problem? Me neither. Or what I think we're gonna go with, our handy dandy trusty, just a little below average size, Sharpie marker. Oh, that is interesting. Let's go ahead and pop the top on this. Size doesn't matter, Sharpie. Sure are a lot of penis references right there, Joe. 
Sure are. Oh. Well, look at there. All right. Let's do this. And just sort of sketch in that hairline right there and go right into the side of the head. Then into that little bit of stubble for the side of the jaw down into the chin area. Oh, Thaddeus has got him not much of a chin going on, but we'll try to capture whatever is there. Rolling around back onto the other side of the jaw, up into the cheek area. Very nice smile you got there, Thaddeus. I'm sure I'd like to see a lot more of that smile. Maybe if you got your life together out there. Stop getting locked up for trespassing. I wish you the best, Daddy Asai. I do wish you the best. This guy is definitely happy. Happy to be here, isn't he? Oh, he is. Maybe the... Maybe the deputy said something funny to Daddy is. Right before he took the mugshot, like, Hey, you're gonna love this place. Let's really droop that eye. There we go. Oh yeah, Daddy is. They caught you on your off day. There he is. Old Daddy is. Locked up in Oregon. What did you learn from this? Well, folks, I think that there completes our Daddy is Mona Lisa. Don't really feel like I did all that good on this, but oh well. Let's go ahead and put that cap back on the marker. It doesn't want to make any noise now. Isn't that just special? Folks, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video and hope that some kind of strange way you enjoyed this. And if you did so, please leave a like and a comment letting me know exactly what you thought about this. Take care and I'll look forward to talking with you again real soon in my big boy voice.